motivation, inspiration. It's all bullshit without taking action. International best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, tough love, no BS, high-performance coach with an attitude. Welcome to the Queendom, where we talk about proven strategies to scale your business and scale your mind for ultimate success. And here's your hostess, cash flow queen, Kenitra. All righty. Peace and greetings, family. Another great episode we have for you today. Queen here. And uh, we're going to take a deep breath, a couple of deep breaths, and get into the present moment and get into a present state of mind. So here we go. All right, beautiful Friday morning for me. Feeling very, very energized. Just got out of my yoga meditation session. I love to do my episode recordings right after my yoga meditation because my energy is so high. And that way I can, I can bring you the best of me. <laughs> so I hope you appreciate that. Um, so after we finish here, I'll go and, and do my, uh, my workout, my resistance training. So today um, we are going to be talking about Delta Theta Magic. What do I mean by Delta Theta Magic? Well, Delta Theta, these are different brain waves that we encounter throughout our existence. Now I'm going to start from the top of the brainwave chart and go all the way um, to the top. Beta brainwave is uh, a brainwave that measures from 14 to 30 hertz. And this brainwave, we call it the monkey mind, right? This is when you're awake. You have a lot of stimuli going in and out of your head. You're thinking about this, you're thinking about that, you're working, the kids, social media, all of this stuff. So it's your normal alert consciousness. That's your beta brainwave. Now, the next brainwave is alpha. Alpha measures from 9 to 13 hertz. In this state, you're physically and you're mentally relaxed. You're awake, but you may be a bit drowsy. Think about when you're driving a long distance, maybe you're taking a road trip, and your mind just kind of gets in, in a zone. You're still alert, but you're a bit zoned out. That's your alpha state. Our next brainwave state is Delta. Now Delta is a bit more relaxed. You're below 4 Hertz. Now this is when you're drifting off to sleep. So it's a, it's a deep dreamless sleep. You, you really lose bodily consciousness or bodily awareness. Okay. And then the next brain way we have is Theta. Theta measures from 4 to 8 Hertz. And it's a reduced consciousness. It's deep meditation, dreams, light sleep, and REM sleep. REM sleep is rapid eye movement. Now, delta and theta, these brain waves are going to be very, very key in order for you to start attracting, to change the program, and start manifesting what it is that you want in your life. And then, uh, not too long ago, I want to say within the last decade, may be a bit longer, but science have, have actually extended the brain waves, and uh, there's a new brain wave called gamma. Gamma is 30 hertz and above when it's measured, 
And gamma is a heightened perception. A heightened perception. And I know for me, with all the mental hacking, and the biohacking that I'm doing, I'm striving for a gamma brainwave state that heightened perception. So now, why is Delta Theta magic? Again, Delta Theta brainwave consciousness allows you to go into the software of your subconscious programming and make substantial changes. When you're in a beta brainwave state, meaning you're fully alert, you're fully conscious, it's very difficult to make changes in that state. Now, obviously, you can be driving and you can say, well, I'm going to go right instead of left. Okay, yeah, you can do that. But I mean deep, deep changes as far as it relates to maybe your health, your relationships, your job, the way you may think about religion, the way you may think about politics. These are all programs that have been installed within us. And in order to change those programs, then we have to go deep within the operating system. Yes, we are walking computers, if you will. So now, when you look at Delta and Theta, some of the strategies that I have used for myself have worked very, very well. And these strategies, because I get people that say, you know, Queen, I can't, I can't really just meditate like I'm not there yet. And I will tell you this, meditation takes practice. When I first started meditating, I could the, the, the monkey mind, that monkey mind was just going, 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 going. I'm thinking about this, thinking about that, thinking about this, thinking about that. The monkey mind was just going. But each day, as I kept at it and I kept practicing, my mind got quieter, my thoughts started to dissipate, and I started to really connect with the energy flow and really get into a mindfulness state. But that comes with practice. This process that I'm going to share with you here is something that you're doing every single night, every time you go to sleep. You're getting into delta and theta every single time. So now the key is, obviously, when we're wanting to upgrade our software or change our software, then we have to bypass the conscious mind. The conscious mind runs you 5%. It holds 5% weight. Your subconscious mind holds 95% weight. This is why I say it's very difficult for the conscious mind to outbeat the subconscious mind because the subconscious mind is 90% greater than the conscious mind. So what's the key? The key is, is to get the, sub, the conscious mind, get the conscious mind to sit down in the corner and be quiet where you can work on the subconscious. How do you do that? You do it every single night when you go to bed. So I'm going to share with you uh, a, a few of my affirmations. Um, you're going to get a peek inside my brain and uh, how I think. Um, so what you want to do, and I'll let you listen to a little bit of this. You can actually, if you want to snip it out um, of this uh, episode, you can utilize it. But the best way that I have seen for lasting changes is for you to write out a list of I am statements. I am healthy. I am prosperous. I am beautiful. I am confident. I am abundance. I am love. I am joy. I am excellent. I am perfect. I am in perfect health. I am a loving being. I am trustful. I have self-worth. 
all of these I am statements is reprogramming the subconscious mind. So what you want to do is you want to take those statements and if you want to add a little bit more flavor onto it, record yourself with your list of your I am statements and then find you a track and you can find these tracks on YouTube. Find you a track that the music is resonating at 432 hertz. 432 hertz is the love frequency. It's the highest frequency there is. And this frequency attracts other things on that same frequency to you. So all of those I am statements are resonating on that frequency. So if you record your I am statements in your voice, because the reason why I say it's more powerful for you to record it in your own voice, your voice is the voice that you communicate with 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, like I say, you can, you know, listen to mine. You can snip it out until you get your recording going. But at the end of the day, the highest, the best application of this process is going to be where you record your own voice. So you record your I am statements, you lay a 432 hertz track over it. And then what you're going to do is each night when you go to bed, every single night, you're going to play this. You're going to put some earbuds in your ear and you're going to play this and you're going to loop it. So every night as you're, as you're sleeping, as your conscious is sleeping, your subconscious is still awake and your subconscious is just recording this new program, recording this new data. And I tell you, it's absolutely amazing. That's why I say it's magic. It's absolutely amazing. So um, I'm going to let you listen to a little bit of my I am statements. And then um, I'll come back and we'll wrap up this episode. I am goddess. I am wealth. I am healthy. I am supreme. I am divine. I am happiness. I am peace. I am joy. I am forgiving. I am unconditional love. I am abundance. I am courageous. I am bold. I am infinite. I am goddess. I am wealth. I am healthy. I am supreme. I am divine. I am happiness. I am peace. I am joy. I am forgiving. I am unconditional love. I am abundance. I am courageous. I am bold. I am infinite. I am goddess. I am wealth. I am healthy. I am supreme. I am divine. I am happiness. I am peace. I am joy. I am forgiving. I am unconditional love. I am abundance. I am courageous. I am bold. I am infinite. I am goddess. All right. So, like I said, that's what I listen to every night. And that has um, worked like magic for me. So many things that I'm manifesting. And I just want to leave you with this one other thing. You know, sometimes as we're going through our day, you know, for me, my focus each day is to operate from the love frequency. So when I keep that focus and I keep that intention, little things that may come up that may you know, tick off the normal person where they may want to go off, they may want to go into a lower vibration, things like that. Doesn't, doesn't affect me that way because my intention is to operate in the love frequency. 
And one of the truths that I always think about, and I may say to myself in, in situations where I need just a little booster, um, I say to myself, I'm a divine creation and nothing can hurt my soul. People are waiting for me to dive into my higher self. The opinions of others has nothing to do with me. Big money and prosperity comes to me easily, effortlessly, and frequently. So find out what your truths are for you and write out you a truth statement and utilize that statement as you go throughout your day so that you can continue to operate out of the love frequency. Because here's the thing that I know. As you are changing your programming, as you're doing this process every single night, you have to stay elevated in your vibration and elevated in your frequency to have those things manifest towards you. You can't do the reprogramming and then be bitchy, an asshole, and all of this throughout the day and then expect things to manifest for you. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. So you want to carry the high vibration throughout your entire day as much as you can. Obviously, you know, we have setbacks or we may have something that frustrates us, but you want to snap yourself out of that as quickly as possible and get back on your high frequency and get back on your high vibration. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'd love to hear testimonials of you working with this process and seeing changes that would just that would warm my heart so please share those with me on the blog at thequeendome.com t-h-e-q-u-e-e-n-d-o-m-e.com and someone inquired about uh do i have an instagram i do have an instagram like i said i'm not so much on it a lot um I'll put some stuff out there at some point, more, more stuff. But uh, I have two Instagrams, uh, one for business. It's called Real Cashflow Queen. Is it the real? Let me see what, what the heck the thing is. No, I think it's Real Cashflow Queen. Yeah, so Real Cashflow Queen is the business Instagram. And then the health, the spiritual, the wellness Instagram is real vegan health queen real vegan health queen so those are uh, the two instagrams that i have so enjoy your day enjoy your weekend peace and unconditional love thank you for tuning in please like share and subscribe via itunes and google play for upcoming episodes if you're committed to scaling your business and life to the next level Book a free strategy session with Cashflow Queen Kenitra by visiting the website nobscloser.com. Again, that's nobscloser.com. Again, visit nobscloser.com to book a free strategy session today.